Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater, and it's time to see Santa Claus kick some ass. My review of the 2022 holiday action comedy, Violent Night, coming up now. Santa Claus is tired of the greedy, unappreciative kids of today who have lost the Christmas spirit and may retire after he makes the current round he's on. He gets the surprise of a lifetime when on one stop, the compound of a powerful millionaire having a family gathering, a home invasion occurs. The head of the mercenaries, self-dubbed Mr. Scrooge, is looking to take $300 million from Gertrude, the family's matriarch. When Santa's reindeer leave him behind at the mansion, he finds Gertrude's granddaughter Trudy is there and she begs for his help. Santa ends up in the fray attempting to save the family and deck the halls of the invaders. So what did I think of Violent Night? I thought it's an amusing and enjoyable holiday action comedy. It's directed by Tommy Ricola, best known for directing films such as Dead Snow, What Happened to Monday, and Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. From the trailer, this seemed like a very fun premise, and for the most part, it delivers. The film oozes vibes of Die Hard and John Wick, as well as Home Alone, which the film acknowledges a few times, and there's a fun sequence where Trudy actually sets some booby traps for the invaders. The fight sequences are well choreographed and humorous as Santa uses his wits and whatever he can find in the house to take on these villains. The scenes are definitely violent and bloody, but one of them could have used a bit better lighting as it's kind of hard to see. There's also a pretty creative backstory to Santa's past as to how he has this certain set of skills. The story isn't without its cliches, from Trudy's parents being estranged and her wanting them to get back together, the head villain having a hatred for Christmas because of events from his past, and a lot of double-crossing. The drama between the family can garner some eye rolls throughout, and the family members themselves could have been written stronger, as they're quite common, and other than Trudy and her mother Linda, they're all pretty unlikable. The script has some cheesy dialogue at times, such as the villain saying Christmas dies tonight, giving me flashbacks of Halloween kills. There's also a number of messages throughout, and we see the character, including Santa, learning some lessons. There are some very funny moments throughout, and most of the comedy hits. There's also a surprising amount of heart, and the chemistry between Santa and Trudy and their relationship is sweet. The score is a standout as well, having a very Christmassy feel, even with all the craziness occurring. David Harbour is great as Santa Claus, the legendary gift giver who finds himself a reluctant hero at one of his annual stops. John Leguizamo as Scrooge, the leader of mercenaries who hates Christmas. Leah Brady as Trudy Lightstone, the young girl who believes in Santa and needs his help. Beverly D'Angelo as Gertrude Lightstone, the matriarch of the family and corporation who makes her family fight for her love. Alex Hassel as Jason Lightstone, Gertrude's son and Trudy's father, who's considered to be the favorite. And Alexis Louder as Linda Matthews, Jason's estranged wife and engineer who agrees to spend the holiday with the family for Trudy's sake. Violent Night packs a punch and is a highly entertaining, different look at jolly old Saint Nick. Number-wise, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Do It, and a high Do It at that. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, Instagram, and Letterbox at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.